Hey everyone, it's Matt again here with another video and today we're going to be continuing on with our project here and we're going to be making 9-pin connector cables. So to make these cables we have to do them in a couple different steps. So we'll do a big batch run in one step first, then another, and then another. So but the first step is we need to use our 3-wire. So this 3-wire is going to connect to our 9-pin but only going to use three of the points. The reason it's only going to use three of the points is because this specific part of the cable is going to be for uh, data transmission and I don't need all nine pins to do that. The second step will be a little more intricate. The second step involves taking our three wire but the other side now and putting it into this nine pin along with the five wires off of this cord. The opposite end of the other cord here, just bare wires, so we don't need to do anything after that. The end result is the one end here is a 9-pin female connector, and this end here is a 9-pin male connector. So to recap, what we're going to do is do the one side first, the three wire first. We're then going to move on to the five wire, and we are going to put them together in this top 9-pin. Make sure we got our bottom 3-pin done, and this is ready for casing. So, we'll get started on the 3-wire. So the connections we need to actually pre-solder are going to be 1, 3, and 4. So we'll tin number 1, 3, and 4, just like that. The reason we tin it first is so that when we go to put on our cable here, it's a lot easier. These cables, in turn, have also been tinned beforehand. If you don't know what tinning is, it means effectively to kind of pre-solder them up on the top. As you can see, these are copper wires, but they're silver. We actually dip these in a little solder pot beforehand, so that they're a little easier to work with when we get to this stage. But we also make sure we have some connections tinned on the 9-pin connector, so that makes it a lot easier for us. So, going from left to right, we need black, green, and then white. So for the next step, we have a brand new 9-pin controller, but what we need to do is solder the other end of the ones we literally just did onto this one, but using a different pin configuration. So on to the next step, what we need to do is add this additional piece of wire onto our 9-pin connector. This one here is going to need the red at 1, the brown at 4, and on the other side, on pins 6, 7, and 8, what we're going to do is do our black, white, and green wires.
And that there is us making a whole bunch of these 9-pin connector cables. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. As always, like and subscribe. And as always, until the next one.